Hey there, welcome back to Liz and Sandro's Marketing Podcast. We are the two marketing gurus who provide you tips and tricks on social media, websites, reputation management, and so much more. Today, we have a collection of random, <laughs> random digital tidbits we think your small business should know. Thanks, Liz. Correct. These are just four small little tidbits that wouldn't take up a full episode, but they're important enough to mention here on our podcast. First one, I love Google Chrome. The newest version now has an amazing update and it's very consumer friendly, but it makes you think about where and how you're advertising. Correct. Specifically video. You can now right click on a tab in Google Chrome on a website. So let's say the local alternative newspaper weekly, like the one we have here in our area, they always bombard you with audio video ads. So as soon as you go to their site, there's lots of audio blaring through your speakers. Well, now you can right click on the tab when you're at the site and mute site will appear. And from here on out, anytime you go back to that site, everything will be muted. You will not hear a thing. I'm pumped about this as a consumer. I, I think I used to have to go in or like the tab would show a little microphone and I, I could click that, but that was just a one, a one and done. Per session. Exactly. Basically. Yeah. Whereas this is m- muted all the time. But on the other side, if you as an advertiser may want to consider where your video ads are going. If you have a video ad, maybe you want only having video ads on sites where people go specifically to watch video. Oh yeah. So Good like point. YouTube. So to your point, like I only want my video ad to appear on sites that people go to that are watching news. But to your point, you just said, I want to mute every time I go to scene magazine, I'm muting everything on that site. So that isn't a place I go to watch video though. That's a place I go to read local news to okay, read. Fair enough. So that's what I would answer that with. But fair I do enough. go to like the local NBC affiliate to watch videos. Sure. So I understand that they will show me an ad beforehand and that's okay. I'm expecting that. I'm not expecting it at the puppy shelter or <laughs> wherever. Yeah. Well, the only other comment that I'll make about that is I, I heard that consumer attention spans over the last, I think it was 10 years, they've dropped from 12 seconds to eight seconds. So I guess my argument might be, unless you can get a good message across in eight seconds, don't do a pre-roll video ad. You know, unless you're Budweiser and someone cracking open the can (laughs) and hearing that noise in the first three seconds of the ad, you know, unless you can communicate your message like that, that's maybe not a good medium for you. My two-year-old nephew knows watching YouTube, he knows where the skip ad button is. So he knows he has to wait five seconds before he can tap it, skip the ad to get to his... To the video he wants to watch. (laughs) Paw Patrol, he loves loves Paw Patrol. Well, there's clearly a lot here. So we sh- we'll we we'll do a full episode on video ads and the best way to approach them. Great. Now on to something I learned from the social media marketing podcast and shout out to them. It's called Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. It spells out Linktree, the dot E-E. And it's a great way and free way to get multiple links out of your Instagram bio. Liz, how many actual links work on Instagram? Just one. Which one is it? The one in your bio. Correct. So sometimes you need multiple links up there. And this is a great way to have up to five links through one link. And I will give you an example in the show notes. But basically, I have a client who is tickets for one event, tickets for a second event, and they are hiring. So there's a separate site just for people to apply for a job. So we have posts for those on our Instagram feed. And we only have one link. So now when they click that link, it'll say event one, event two, or apply for a job here. And you can just click and it's mobile friendly and it's pretty awesome. And can I also say, I appreciate the dot EE because... What country is that? (laughs) Well, we talked about a couple episodes ago when we were talking about branding and thinking through your domain name, there aren't that many dot coms left. So I'm excited to see more brands experimenting outside of a dot com or a dot net. I'm, I'm hoping more brands will be pursuing that in the future. I'm waiting for Liz EE, Liz.ee. Did oh. anyone call you Lizzie? No, Lizard, but not Lizzie. <laughs> Next up, Liz has an Instagram update. What's going on with Instagram? Yes. So Instagram is moving away from its algorithmic feed, which a lot of people did not like. If you remember, I 
when did they roll that out? It's, it's been a it's been a while, but people didn't like it. Um, so they are moving back to showing newer posts near the top of the feed. Now the company is is saying they're they're not bringing the chronological feedback entirely, but this is going to I think be a welcomed little tweak because I like, I love the chronological order feed. Um, now when I scroll through it, I'm, I'm all disoriented. So I'm excited that they're bringing some of this back. And our last update is about Google Posts. We've talked about this in the past. We'll link to it in the show notes, our past episode. But Google Posts, something everyone should be using. It's free. They last a week. They're like a Facebook post and they show up in your Google results for a week. But now you can put in an offer instead of just having a... Plan- like an update, like an informational update. Correct. So those are posts that you've been yes. able to do for a while with plain texts or or photos or events. But now you can have an offer. So 25% off. This week, 50% off. And you could also include an offer up to 300 words of text, a post title, a start date, and an end date, and an optional coupon code, uh, as well as a link to your website. That's good. So enough room to detail the offer and probably include some fine print as well. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Facebook has their offers. So now Google does too. There you go. That is that is our collection of random but yet important digital updates for this week. It seems like we are having a lot of random updates. And, and so Sandra and I were talking about coming up with a catchy title series uh, for once or twice, once, once or twice a once month, or twice a month for, for something like this. So stay tuned for that. But that wraps up today's episode. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe on your favorite podcast app. Join the conversation on social media. We are on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. Send us your questions. We'd love to give you a shout out on the show and we will see you next time.